38 degrees. And there's also a sauna and a steam room as well. They do do the spa, but they didn't have any availability and it was a bit too expensive. I think this for an all day pass was 18 pounds. So you can come and go as much as you want. So I can come back later on tonight and look at the stars while I'm taking a dip. check in winter to make sure it's open for the time you come through. They're usually pretty good at getting them open again so they'll come through and plow them, put a CMA on them to break any ice up and they'll check that as well before they'll open them up. Alright, so I'm in Queenstown. I've had an eventful 24 hours. I am now again halfway up a mountain, as I always seem to be. Went to bed last night, my ear was hurting. Woke up this morning and my ear canal was completely shut. So I started the day at Queenstown Medical Center. I am now on antibiotics as I have an outer ear infection. I then go down and wait for my fly cruise fly to Milford Sound. There I am stood there get a phone call cancelled because of the weather so I then go down to see if I can book it to go by coach sorry my ears really sore no nothing until the 23rd will I leave at 8 a.m. on the 23rd so I've had to go online I've had to cancel my bus change all my accommodation so I'm now long shot is staying till the 24th and I'm going to Milford Sound by bus five hours drive there, five hours drive back for a two hour cruise to Milford Sound. Not ideal, but I have a mountain to climb. I'll pick you back up soon. Oh my God, this is just bloody ridiculous. And that's what I've got to climb up, up there. Who do I think I am, Spider-Man? Okay, this is the first time I'm wondering whether I'm actually gonna make this or not. No warnings. No edges, just a sheer bloody drop. I'm sweating buckets. I've been again about 25 minutes and it's all vertical uphill, climbing up the edge of a mountain. Nuts. So this is what I've climbed up so far. Up the side of that mountain. I'm almost at the top of the trees. amphibian planes here, a lot of people used to fly here, they were doing the Milford track. So they used to be parked all the way along here. Okay, so this is one of the cleanest creeks and we've been told to fill up the water bottles here. So I'm going to try and do this. There we go. Okay, so this is Monkey Creek, and this is where we filled up our water bottles with the fresh water. And it is really nice water, I have to say. Wow, the weather might be not quite so good, but the views are great. Absolutely stunning. Don't know whether you can see behind me all the waterfalls coming down the mountain. such low-lying cloud as well there's quite a few people here 
show you behind me here. sunny day we wouldn't have had this effect so in a way I'm quite glad I think even though this is really beautiful and very impressive out of Milford Sound and Queen Charlotte Sound for me personally I think I prefer to Queen Charlotte so very lucky to see some dolphins so that was nice one good thing is at least it stopped raining see a rock folks in Dunedin absolutely exhausted after yesterday on the coach to Milford Sound for 12 and a half hours now I've been on the bus since 8 o'clock and it's now about 1 o'clock in the afternoon I'm done I'll give you a little room tour of my latest hostel so it's a full bath and thank god I've got a bottom bunk this used to be a hospital so we've got that and we've got a few little sinks in here but it's not too bad i think i'm going to sleep like a log tonight so i arrived at my hostel which is just there it used to be the old hospital and i have to say i did lie down for an hour because i was exhausted so i've decided to go for a walk although it does look like it's just about to rain so. um there's some nice beca uh, <laughs> there's a nice i can't do this botanical garden <laughs> and now i'm walking down the hill and i'm thinking maybe i should have brought my brolly so i felt better i've actually got my wood woolly hat out that i bought in iceland because it's not the warmest in the world here so i've just managed to get down to the octagon which is the center in dunedin and there is a bus station with Oh, just taking a chill day today. Just come down to the gardens, they are lovely. But yeah, just trying to finally get over my ear infection, which seems to be dragging now, I've had enough. But yeah, I'm gonna walk up to the longest street. I'm keeping that ear very well protected. So just up here is supposed to be the world's steepest street. It's called Baldwin Street. And I'm going to turn the camera around so I can have a look at the same time as you. How steep is this going to be? Is it going to be steep, steep? Oh my God. Now that is just ridiculous. Who ever thought of building houses up there? Who ever thought this was a good idea? What is it with me and hills? 
I managed it. I walked up Baldwin Street, which is the longest street in the world. Well, used to be. Don't know if it still is. It was designed by a guy called Charles Kettle after William Baldwin, who was a newspaper man. Can you imagine delivering papers up that street? You would really have lucked out. <laughs> I have to say, it is the most ridiculous street, but the views are pretty good. <laughs> Amazon, you got a parcel. <laughs> okay, another travel day. In fact, it's my last travel day from Dunedin to Christchurch. So I'm literally just stood at the bus stop here waiting for the bus to take me to the intercity bus stop so i won't get to christchurch till about 7 30. the bus goes at about 12 40 today and gets into christchurch at i think about half past seven this evening it's a long day After a month of dorm rooms, I have my own room. And you know what made me the happiest? Those two little nice fluffy white towels. Yeah. Right, so I've pulled myself together. So when I was in, where was I? Lost all track when I was in queenstown i went to a little shop and i bought myself a two dollar lanyard to keep my hostel room key on so this is the first time i'm going to use it Oh, don't look. I'm just so happy I've got my own room. Look, I've just noticed something else. Look what I've got. I have a telly. <laughs> I have a remote. <laughs> Sometimes it's just the little things in life. 